Yo, what is going on everybody? So, I'm back with this story about the lynching of the neo-Nazi from Russia out here in Cancun. It all comes down to respect. Like I told you, number one thing, if you're on any foreign soil, always respect the local, always respect the people, and at least try to adapt to the situations and be humble of the locals. So, just to summarize this quick story about, you know, this neo-Nazi going on a crazy racist rampage out here in Cancun. Uh, pretty much he had a little apartment and he was just on this crazy temper tantrum calling all of these local Mexicans, you know, all these derogatory terms. And it was just crazy as hell. So the Mexicans pretty much were like, you know what, screw this dude. You know, you're not on your turf you are out here in Mexico and we about to show you how we operate out here when people discriminate against us on our own homeland so they came up in a pack they wanted to lynch this dude they beat the hell out of him and pretty much shown him you need to respect us and if you want to be racist take that shit somewhere else um, or at least be at home when you want to be racist so again, it all goes back to the number one rule, which I tell you guys and all of my previous subscribers, which you guys already know. If you're on foreign soil, always respect the locals and at least try to be humble as possible and let them pretty much um, do what they do out there, you know. So that's the number one rule, which I tell everybody. So again, this neo-Nazi, Russian neo-Nazi, stepped on Mexico's turf in Cancun and it's crazy because Cancun has probably the most tourists especially from the United States that come to visit so now he's fucking it up for a lot of people in Mexico when it comes to businesses because a lot of Americans and tourists in general are going to be scared as hell to come to Cancun and spend their goddamn money so that's all economics that's on a whole different level but again Mexico is completely different when it comes to rules and regulations and how they go about things and how they handle situations so again I know how here in in the United States um, going back to us or our black history um, when it comes to lynchings we pretty much couldn't do shit as black people but out here in Mexico I'm giving you guys a comparison and contrast differences out here in Mexico these locals damn near got away with about to lynch this goddamn person. Um, they took it in their own hands apart from the police and the law. So they were like, if you want to come down here in Mexico on our turf and try to, you know, um, be racist towards us and, and call us out um, and call us these derogatory terms and shit like this, nah, this is what happens to people like you. So again, I completely disagree on this dude out here in Cancun disrespecting the people. That's not how it should go down. That's not it should go down. But who knows? I don't know. People are just crazy like that. But again, did this dude deserve what he got? Shit. Look at look at the um story for yourself. Me, it's a fucked up situation and Again, it comes down to respect. If you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. Quote that from Tommy Sotomayor. Yes, give that credit to him from that quote. So, that's what I believe in. It's, it's messed up, you know, um, how he came to a different country and disrespected the local people. But, again, you still see me in one piece because, again, I respect the locals, I respect the people, and I try to be on my P's and Q's out here. So, again, let me know what you guys think about this. I know this story... Um, is a little bit um, older and I should have done it earlier but a lot of people have been requesting it from me um, so this is why I did it so let me know what you guys think about that but again if you play stupid games you win stupid prizes like this crazy welcome to Mexico they take punishment into their own hands apart from the law call it corrupt or not that's how they get down respect the people all right the grito grande